suppose I have two plates which I had to clean up on both sides. Then I made one of the pistons, I hear I'm drilling a hole and that piston is made and I've got a flywheel for one side. These are the two strips I was going to use and I had a machinist do this piston for me. This is the end result of it. So I got this plate made. Um, it's quite heavy. I didn't intend to make it so heavy, but that's the way it happened. This is, I think it's mild steel. And I got it about six inches by two and a quarter inches high. So that's what it is. It's about half an inch thick. It shouldn't be. You don't have to have it that thick. You don't have to have it mild so you can make it anything really. But I thought I'd make a decent one. I had uh, somebody at my uh, brother's workplace weld it for me because obviously I can't weld. But there you go. It's done a lovely job there. And before I before I um, put it on there, I marked out. It wasn't any particular place or size what I was I, what I wanted to drill because as I go along with these projects I make up I make it up as I go along I don't um, I don't plan it and I don't put down sizes and everything else but I do look at YouTube videos and att attempt to do something but before I did all that hole I made I got these made first um, basically just cut uh, this was already I think it's three quarter three quarter by three quarter. It's already three quarter by three quarter. So I'll drill a hole in there. Let's just find that out. 10 point, 10 point two millimeters. I'm going to do this anyway. So yeah, it's a rough size. Then the other one was, I also had this as well. And that's about, should be about quarter or three eighths, something like that. 6.99, as you can see. Now, I didn't particularly mark where I was going to do what, but I did make sure that I tried to make it to one side as much as I possibly could. And therefore, I made this one side as, as I could as well. But I also put it together to make sure the holes were like more or less um, in line. Let me see now. And this would go... This would go there like that. So more or less central, central of it was there. So this is about about two millimeter hole there. It just goes through to the center of that, and the valve side here. I, this was a hole that was a bit more crucial there, I think, to myself because that hole goes through there, and it needs to be matching up with this one. So I did do a little bit of fiddling around and making sure that both holes were matched. And they did. So if I put, if I put, for instance, this there, and this through there, that matches nicely. So that's that's uh, that was a crucial hole to make. I guessed these holes. It didn't really matter to me where they went, as long as somewhere. And I tapped these. I think they, I think they, these are about four M4 size. I tap tap them, so these bolts will go through there. Okay, this took me a, a little bit of time to do that, drilling these holes and tapping them and making sure that these holes match those holes. So what I did, I decided to put this against, against this like this and uh, roughly, I said, roughly where would that hole go? So I made that hole first. Once I made that hole, then I could I could put one of these in there like that. The, the valve side. Held it down nice and tight and made sure that I drilled the hole right through there. And that's how I did the holes on this thing. They're a bit stiff at the moment. Well, I shall do something about that too sort that out but they do go these do go through I've had this going through before like that so once I made these holes there obviously 
this was already matching that so um, I had to make sure the holes on this side were correct too and then I drilled and tapped them okay before I did that obviously I made this uh, hole here I decided to make it there even though this is going to go there. I could have gone on top, but I made. I made decided to make it go there. This is where the steam was uh, go in inlet, and I had to get the pistons made on a lathe. I, I I didn't make them. Somebody else made them for me. So the next move is to put these onto here. Found I found this one, so it kind of. Um, okay, it's aluminium. It's very very light. So I'm going to try it with this, but if it doesn't work I'm going to use something heavier metal. I'll get it turned down by somebody. I'll put a hole in there to see how that goes. So it's all about now uh, matching up this there. Uh, where did I put the hole? Anywhere I felt like it didn't really matter that much. So then that will go there. And then this one I made so that it goes on that side and, and the piston should turn it like that. Hopefully that'll be fine. We'll see how it goes. Okay guys, so I'm here at my brother's factory. I've just finished the engine and we're just going to run it on air for, for starters. So put it on slowly. So as you have seen, uh, I worked the engine on air at my brother's place because he's got a pump and it works okay. There are a few things I'm not happy about this engine. So this this here is a bit wobbly, which I mean, um, obviously the drill didn't drill straight down properly. And also this here, I think I should have had a thicker piece here instead of such a, such a thin one next time. If I do make one, I shall make that a little bit thicker than what it is. A uh, couple of things I'm going to redo a little bit, as in like this here, it's a bit flimsy, and I'm thinking I'm some kind of uh, glue this down or super glue this so it just sticks fast or get a thicker thread or something like that. So that's what I'm working on right now. I'm going to do that. Um, otherwise, uh, I think I'm happy with this engine. Works really good. And the last thing to do is clean it up a bit and let's see how well it works on steam. Okay guys, so it's finished. I'm not happy with the engine. It doesn't work on steam simply because I think this is made of aluminium. I will have to replace that and make it heavier. I think if it was heavier, it would work nicely. I would like to replace that. I would also like to replace this, but I'll do that another time. But as you can see, it works great on air. And I'll show you one more time it's painted and how it works on air. The other thing guys is that um, also my steam pressure wasn't that great with uh, what I'm using my little kettle 
So I might try something later on and I will put an update up in the weeks to come. Thank you for watching. This project did take me a little bit of a time to, to make. Please help my channel by subscribing and supporting it. Thank you very much. Thank you.